We'll be at the drop point in T minus 10 seconds. Thank you, Cole. Time for the Riley! What are you doing here? Taking the initiative? Ah! Riley, there was a reason I told you to stay home. This mission is far too dangerous. Dr. Scorpius and his evil minions have recently secured a doomsday laser capable of destroying the entire continent of Antarctica. <gasps> but that's the world's third most important continent! I know, which is why you need to stay here while I track him down. But what am I gonna do here? I don't know. Read a magazine or something? Yeah. Uh, window Washer Weekly? <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> I'm off to save the world. Cheerio! Mom! All right, Scorpius. Release my daughter at once! Not until you give me the top secret code to the vault! Oh, very well. The top secret code is... One, two, three, four... Six! Very sly, Agent K. Riley, you should have never left the safe house. Now Dr. Scorpius has supplonium to power his laser. I was just trying to help. Well, I think it's time I took you home. I'm calling Central Command to have another agent take over the mission. But, Mom, there's no time. I heard Dr. Scorpius say he's going to fire the laser from his secret mountaintop compound tonight. And I know where that is. See? It's on the mailing label of this magazine. Well, then, I'm going alone. The last thing I need is another family member tagging along on an important mission. Hello! Oh, splendid. You keep a lookout while I disarm the Doomsday Laser. Mmm, the ketchup maketh the pretzel dog. What? Huh? Mm. My nemesis, Agent K. Mom, look out! <laughs> Weakest link. Sausage. Mom, the laser! Almost there. You stink, Agent K. <laughs> oh no, I can't see the controls. I have to clean this glass. Aha! This oily rag should do the trick. No, Mom! <laughs> if we don't get this window clean in the next 18 seconds, Antarctica will be destroyed! <sighs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We did it! <sighs> What's wrong, dear? I guess Mr. Lasley was right. I'm nothing but a window washer. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for your brilliant plan and quick thinking, we never could have stopped Dr. Scorpius. Unless, of course, you'd never come at all, then I probably could have stopped him a lot sooner. But that's beside the point. Mine. You did well. You think so? Definitely. You have unlimited potential, Riley. You could be an actress or a pony surgeon or even a spy like me. You're kidding about the last one, right? Of course I am. You almost blew up the third most important continent on Earth. <laughs> Silly Billy. <laughs> First up, crowd favorite, Agent K. Crowd favorite? She needs to ricochet through the asteroid field. Past the black holes, between the planets, and through the sun to hit a hole in one. Ha, that's what they'd expect me to do. Oh, an extremely creative effort. Gone horribly, horribly wrong. Oh, this round for you, gravity! No, I can't. Yeah! If you two can't stop fighting, I will stop this spaceship right now. Yes, ma'am. It's Star Journeys number 227 all over again. Get it off the ship or we're doomed. For once, I think the nerd is right. Time for your little friend to leave, Riley. Gotcha. <laughs> Car, open the inner airlock doors. Roger. Any time, Car. I'm having a lot of trouble accessing the airlock. <laughs> Oh! 
system breach. My own camera? Riley, because you worked so hard, your father and I decided to get you your camera. Thanks, Mom. Dad? Our pleasure, dear. When you get your next job, you can pay us back. Start the clock! Listen carefully to Mummy. Go to the right. Okay, not the left. You are the winters of my discontent. Oh, that's no hair dryer. Todd, Riley was playing badminton. Huh? Uh, well, we were so far away, I couldn't tell. Todd, we were in the front row. Then why was everyone all blurry? Blurry? Get back, Riley. <laughs> I've seen this before. Todd's been infected with Dr. Scorpius's genetically crafted island eye fog. It's highly contagious. Car, eject him immediately! As much as the idea delights me, Kay, I'm going against the grain and using logic here. It's possible the boy simply needs glasses. Glasses! Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Good call, Carter. Let's see. Here, Todd, catch! Ah. See? I've been expecting you. Oh, Riley, I wasn't expecting you. I was expecting petrols. Was that Lisa outside? Why do you care? You've been spending a lot of time with her. I should meet her, no? Yeah? Well, I think you're just jealous that you don't have a high school friend. Riley, I'm merely asking what you two spend all your time doing. We don't do, Mom. We am. I mean, uh, we are. Well, before you two are together again, I need to meet her. <sighs> you don't understand. Just, just cheese off. What? Young lady, the cheese is most definitely on. Uh, oh my goodness, did I leave the cheese on? No! Oh. Oh, what a monstrous result. Well, I guess that puts your plan on ice. Now, what kind of secret agent would waste their time making bad puns? You're cancelled. Uh, why are you doing that? In case you're caught or captured. Who's Ben Harrelson? Exactly. Look, Mom, I know how this usually goes. I start saying that I'm not going to do something or go someplace, but before I can finish protesting, I'm already... <laughs> Dang it, how does she do that? Bye, dear. I'm filling this care package with everything our little Todd needs at camp. Chips, cookies, grappling hooks, night vision goggles, rope nuts, some of those little wet napkin thingies so Todd won't get s'mores all over his tuxedo. What tuxedo? This one. You never know. I'm going in. Todd, wait. If you don't come back, I just want you to know I'll take care of your mom. Shut up. So, you want to buy this seemingly harmless umbrella, do you? Uh -huh. I doubt your security clearance is high enough. This is a funny looking toaster. It's also an enemy satellite detonator. Last year's model. Hey! How's eleven? No, ten dollars sound. Wait a minute. I see what's going on here. You'll never get a hold of my toaster slash satellite detonator. Petrol. What are you doing? Okay, eleven. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, how much for the fancy pen? One dollar. And it's a pen slash grappling hook. It's gotten me out of many a sticky wicket. Will it get me out of gym class? Maybe. Okay, look what I bought from Carr. Trophies that already have my name on them. What are the chances? It's like I've pre-won. Yes, yes, that's splendid, dear. But if you'll excuse me, I'm interrogating a potential buyer. Oh, right. Carry on. So do you want to buy this pen or not? Okay. Oh, you've given yourself away, Petrov. No, but my name's not Petrov. Ah, exactly what Petrov would say. Stop, please, with the ropes and the grappling and the serious chafing. Ah. How did you fit in that tiny nerd costume of yours? Ah. And you might want to turn your head to the left. I see a blemish. Mom, get off my cowlick. Ah, oh, jeez, Mom. It's a mother's prerogative to ensure her boy looks good. You've had me under constant surveillance ever since I accidentally detonated an emergency disguise kit. I make one mistake and now I'm permanently chaperoned? Ridiculous. I'm not constantly watching you. And I have the surveillance footage to prove it. I don't see why you're so upset that I popped in on you one time. One time? One time? Strike! Aww. I brought your afternoon juice box, Toddy. No one likes a cranky boy with low blood sugar. 
two front row tickets to Orangutan Crew's Emancipated Primates Tour. Excellent! Over-amplified rock music isn't a good idea, Todd. You know you have dainty eardrums. <laughs> See what I mean? You want me to go on? Enough is enough! I just want what's best for you. Do you think I like sewing tracking devices into all of your clothes? Neglected boy cakes. <sighs> the mother's sole purpose in life is to protect her young chick. But not this carefree bird. She's off for a joy flight while her little one's alone. Defenseless. Vulnerable. Nature can be cruel. Call all you want, little chick. Mama can't hear you. Bad mama bird. How will you live with the guilt? <laughs> Yeah. Is Todd ready to go to the Orangutan Crew concert? Todd says he wants privacy. No one's disturbing my little chick. Mrs. Daring, perhaps you'd like some time off from mothering. I have tickets to see Orangutan Crew. I'm not leaving my nest! I knew it! Time to hit the is this in the script? <gasps> You're Josh DeMille. Um, huh? is that a rap, as you say? <laughs> help! Someone help! <laughs> Dog eggs are mine! Back! <gasps> is this real? This is real! This is really happening! <laughs> Again. But you said this is real. It's in the script. You're in a lot of movies. I have three houses to pay for, so sue me. Stupid phone. Why won't you work? Glee by the Sea is a relaxing resort. We discourage cell phone use on our secluded island. In other words, you've got bad coverage. Pretty much. All right, Dr. Scorpius. Time for your early checkout. Oh, yes, that's a good one. I'll use that. Mom, Mom, Dr. Scorpius is here! Well done, Todd. I'm already on it. But he's helping his son cheat so he can beat me in a surf-off. Listen, I know you don't usually help me cheat, but he's got all these really cool gadgets and... There you go, Todd. A wave manipulator. That ought to turn the tide, eh? This will definitely dampen his spirits. Oh, good punmanship, Todd. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must take care of more urgent matters. Now it's time to stop Scorpius from destroying the world. Let the luau. Time to execute my master plan. <laughs> no! Now all my silk shirts are ruined. I'm nipping your evil plans in the bot, Doctor Scorpius. The situation is under control. Agent K, don't you ever stop spying and just relax? Must you ruin my wardrobe and my vacation? <laughs> you don't expect me to believe you're actually here on vacation. Yes! Hogwash. What was all that talk about shaking up the world? It's a new dance I've been working on. The Earth Shaker! The Earth Shaker? Dancing is his second love. Oh, dear. Well, now that you've ruined the Scorpius family vacation, we're leaving. Come on, family. Oh, I can't believe it! I was wrong! Me? Well, there must be some sort of evil plot going on around here somewhere. Well, that Seth instructor's a shifty-looking fellow. Honey? All in favor of confiscating Mom's spy gear until we get home. Aye! Aye. Ah, Eureka! Take it, please, pretty smelling mole person. Don't. Drat. I knew I should have taken a leftist Albuquerque. All black bodysuit? <laughs> what are you supposed to be, an undercover yoga instructor? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. 
Eagle pose. You ran away, young man. You didn't notice? I got the note and everything. What the beescotch, Mom? Yes, I ran away because you guys acted like you love this little dweeb more than me. Todd, I would never love anyone more than I love you. Well, I love Riley equally, of course. <laughs> and your father, of course. I love him just as much. <clears throat> I beg your pardon? And the car. <laughs> That's it, just you four. <laughs> what about me? Uh, sorry, not so much, Tiny Evil. No, I mean, what about me? The one holding all the weapons? Oh, right. I hate to interrupt such a touching family moment. Don't you wish we could just freeze it in time? Freeze it! <laughs> 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 Speaking of which, he! Thanks for picking me up at the airport, guys. Ready, look out! The Canadian exchange student turned out to be tiny evil and he's trying to destroy us with my own equipment! Excuses, excuses. I'll be in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tiny now? <laughs> Goodbye, Agent K. <laughs> oh, Canada. Get shrunk. <laughs> Well, I was saying that you should trust Tsumi. I think the best thing you can do now, though, is to go to Tsumi and apologize. <laughs> you know, I so enjoy having these talks with you. Being a spy means always holding things in, always trying to separate the mom side from the spy side. That's why I'm happy to have you kids around. You help me to... Dearest Mummy. Sorry, the mom side, spy side thing was running a little long. Love, Riley. Honey, I'm going shopping. Need anything? Yeah, burritos. I could use a couple of burritos. Unicorn throw pillows. Huh, I don't remember ordering these. A special delivery for Agent K. Her down! <laughs> on second thought, maybe I'll do a little work in the yard. Hey! <laughs> so, that's a no on the burritos? I'm off to go shopping again. Need anything, dear? You mean like the burritos I didn't get last time? Fleemco Express with a perfectly innocent delivery for the Darings. Oh, I doubt that. Why is that? Because the Fs on your uniforms are backwards. Very observant, Agent K. Now observe this! <laughs> <laughs> Someone at the door. Paper boy, I'm here to collect. Your head! <laughs> and I've got a headline for you! Pain! <laughs> oh. Mom, are you okay? Oh. Did the ninjas do that to you? No. And this is what happens when your credit card is denied at Spy Mart because your daughter maxed it out. <laughs> Denied. Maxed out. Limit exceeded. Me. Todd, it's your friends. And Shelton. Quiet. Efficient, and they leave a spotless shine. Spy drones, they're not just for enemy surveillance anymore. Ah, 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 wet floor. Mom, everyone made fun of me because I got an F in algebra today. I know. I have my sources. I'd like to think this F is an aberration. And I'd like to know what aberration means. Look, Todd, good grades are important, and I know you can do better. That said, grades are certainly not the only measure of intelligence. Petrov flunked out of high school, and he's still quite a formidable enemy operative. You really mean that, Kay? Gotcha! Big dummy. Mom! Mom! Stay off the floor. <sighs> I got an A-. My 
minus. That's slightly above my customary, slightly above average grades. A minus. That's like a super B plus. Oh yeah, I'm smart. A minus. Run it, Aaron. It's so smart now. Riley, X me on the arts me. Way to kick a guy when he's down, Ryle. Now, Todd, I know you're smart. Your mind is very unique. That's one way of putting it. And we just have to find an area where your talents can shine. Yeah, like ditch digging. Really? Thanks, Mom. Will you help me? Absolutely. Wild horses couldn't stop me. <laughs> My emergency watch beeper. Duty calls. <laughs> Outsmarted by an ordinary criminal. I'm such a fool. Now I know how Todd felt. <gasps> Way to fight crime, Agent Loser! Okay, now I know how Todd felt. Or when one of your family members has stage fright. Right, mailbox? Give it up, Mom. Oh, fine. I stopped the Todd telephone and gave all the money away to a real charity. Who are you and what have you done with my son? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. It's time to give my safe room a good spring cleaning. But, honey, it's September. Exactly. It'll never see it coming. Who's it in the what now? Kay, there's another very handsome man in your safe room. Dick, it's me, Kay. You've triggered my transmogrifying machine and we've switched bodies. Now, if you just relax. No! <laughs> Calm down. Okay, okay. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm... Ah! Pull yourself together, man. Hey, woman. Okay, we can fix this. They do it in the movies all the time. Ugh. Go back to the Chinese guy who gave us the fortune cookie. Or I have to help you figure out a life lesson, or... That's it! We knock ourselves silly! <laughs> or we could have used the machine you just smashed. <laughs> Rat and bother! Uh, how's it going, honey? <sighs> well, I've got to fix this transmogrifier, but it's taking me a while to get used to this body. <laughs> Tell me about it. These hairs are always tickling the back of my neck. <laughs> Tickles be gone! No, give me that. Anyway, in the meantime, we should keep this from the kids so as not to confuse... <gasps> are those stars on my catsuit? This thing lacks sparkle. Enter Dick Daring! Well, I'm off to the all-you-can-eat ham buffet. See you in five hours. Hey, that body's a precision weapon. Don't go having it up. <laughs> ah, Kay, there you are. Did you forget our regular Tuesday drive around Pleasant Hills to check the perimeter? Let's go. You... you want me to drive you? What did you just say? Your voice sounds funny. <coughs> I mean, uh, you want me to drive you, governor? Oh, hello, Todd. Dad, I'm having a crisis of conscience. Little help? Well, dear, you have to look inside yourself and do what's right. Or you use propaganda, misinformation, and subterfuge to create a cloud of chaos under which you escape. Huh? Or tell the truth and rockets and stuff. Look, it's Agent K! Get her! <laughs> Put me down! Put me down! Here you go! Your goggles! Right here! Never mind. Sensor goggles now! Don't you talk to me like no, that! No, Carter! Okay, fine. <laughs> and now, invisible ninjas, let's see who wins this round. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're here, honey. The bad invisible karate guys were kicking me! You've been a bad boy, Dick. You're lucky I was able to get here in time using your rocket-powered lawnmower. Well, wait. Let me get this straight. You're... and you're Dick in Kay's body. Ah, I feel so used. Oh, don't worry. We'll find a way in. No mules ever outsmarted Agent K. What about that time in Gunigwe? Oh, that was a donkey. Completely different. <laughs> Oh, clever 
a mule. Mom! Why would you even install something like that? What function could that possibly serve? International spies hate pies. It's burning! They must have tricked the house's failsafe self-destruct! But only I can deactivate! And only from inside the house! Wait a minute. We have a self-destruct on our house? Where we live? Every day? <laughs> it's all part of the living with a secret agent package, honey. Like Kay accepts my dangerous job and nightly flatulence. Morning, Mom. Good morning, Todd. Care for some... <gasps> what is that? What? <laughs> Whoa, cool! A mustache! Todd, did you use the schnurbert ray that I used to grow facial hair for my undercover disguises? Yes, Mom. I can't believe it. You got through all seven security layers that protect my spy room. Oh, I am very impressed. Thank you, Carr. Ta-da! Intruder! As much as it pains me to stop all the fun, I believe the idiot with blue hair is Dick. Dear, could you do me a favor? I need you to take my monthly pay of unmarked bills down to the bank. I'd go myself, but I've been called away on an urgent spy mission. Sure thing, honey. Now, you have to promise you'll take this money straight to the bank. Okay. You can't spend it on any mules or flea circuses or magic jelly beans. No problem. Or shaving cream dispensers or dinosaur eggs or deeds to the moon or dog saddles. Gotcha. Or snake oil or boxes of sunlight or swampland or yeti hair. Totally. Or jackalope pelts or elixirs to remove back hair or wind-powered fans. Can do. You understand? Absolutely. This is very important. Right. No detours. None. Just take it to the bank. Got it. Good. <laughs> Right in my bouncing burner. <laughs> Still can't believe he chundered in a tuba. <laughs> Bookmarked. Aha! You broke your New Year's resolution. What? You gave up caffeine for New Year's, but what you don't know is that I secretly replaced your decaf coffee with regular. Oh, you wretched! That is terribly mean. I went nine months without caffeine. I played a win, honey. And now, just like every other year, I'm the only one awesome enough to keep my New Year's resolution. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm a winner. You're not. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're only able to keep your resolutions because they're so far-fetched. Last year, I resolved to carpool to work, while you resolved not to throw any eggs at the Queen of Spain. This year, I gave up caffeine, and you resolved not to tackle any kangaroos. Oh, and how many of those meddling marsupials have I tackled this year? No. <laughs> I'm number one! I'm number one! All right, Dick. You asked for it. <laughs> oh, what a shame. It appears you've broken your New Year's resolution. Uh, as a wise man once said, Na-na-na-na! <laughs>